not all that lucky. Can I help you? Staff Sergeant Slater. This is Staff Sergeant McCoy, Internal Affairs. We're here to see Sergeant McCluskey. Well, she's sequestered. She's waiting on a shooting team debrief. The shooting team won't be coming. We're taking over the investigation. Based on what? That information is strictly on a need-to-know basis. Well, I need to know. We're talking about my best operative here. Alvin. I'm Sergeant McCluskey. Look, if this is about my unpaid parking tickets, I'm contesting them all in court. I'm pretty sure the traffic officer had a crush on me. You're under investigation for the shooting death of Matt Morgan Stern. What, did the shrink say I didn't wring my hands hard enough or something? I hope you can appreciate how serious this matter is, Sergeant. Yeah, of course. Look, I just want to clear this up as quickly as possible. I have other active cases on the go at the moment. Your unit is free to continue its work without you while we conduct our investigation. We're going to need your hardware. You are removed from active duty until we complete our investigation, at which point, based on our findings, you may face criminal charges. If so, a union lawyer will be appointed to you. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. We've been over this 20 times. Well, let's make it 21. I received a tip that Morgan Stern had counterfeit money plates in his possession. I was given an address where I could find him, but told he was about to go back underground. And you vetted this tip. You background checked your source. I didn't have time. Didn't have time for a lot of things, like arranging a search warrant. Well, he would have been long gone before I had a chance to use it. OK, take us through what happened when you arrived at the rooming house. While you were there, did you see any counterfeit plates? No. But we didn't have time to do a thorough search. Morgan Stern was on the run. In your haste, could you have alerted him to your presence prematurely? No. We followed proper procedure. You said that you tracked Morgan Stern to another apartment, but what isn't clear is how. How did you know where he was hiding? Intel. I had Corporal Clark examine a building schematic to look for alternate exits. The room in question, it had a balcony with street access. Continue. Once we were on the roof, I had my partner take cover and call for backup while I continued to look. Morgan Stern had backtracked towards the fire escape, and he was about to descend when I spotted him. I am me! Stop right there! I yelled for him to stop, and that's when he went for his weapon. What kind of weapon? It was, um, a uh, Beretta, I think, but I, I didn't get a good look. And was it in his right hand or his left? His right hand. Morgan Stern is left in. Well, it all happened very fast. So you can't say for certain? Heat of the moment, your heart's racing, adrenaline's surging. Your eyes can play tricks on you. I know what I saw. He had a gun. Yet to earlier, you weren't sure if there was a gun. He had a Beretta, I think. That's not what I said. That's actually exactly what you said. Well, that's not what I meant. Let's move on, shall we? Tell us about your ex-husband, Adam. We've reconciled, and I don't see how this is relevant to your investigation. Quite the checkered past, dear man. He made his mistakes. It's behind him now. What is the connection here? Morgan Stern was a heavy gambler. Poker, that's your husband's game. Adam doesn't play anymore. Well, the source told us that your husband and Matt Morgan Stern shared a high-stakes poker table at the end of last year. Well, that would be news to me. Hmm. Morgan Stern's rumored to hold some big markers. A lot of people owe him a lot of money. If your husband's one of them... This is crazy. You guys have no evidence. None of this will stand up in court. I mean, really? This, this is the best you have? Actually, Sergeant, we're just getting started. You're trying to take this man down for how long? A few years. A few years. Would you say uh, he was an obsession? Morgan Stern floated millions of dollars in counterfeit bills. Even more in credit card fraud. He was a sleaze and he ruined people's lives. Of course, I wanted to take him down, but there are far worse criminals out there to obsess over. He wasn't worth it. 
It's interesting that you talk about the lives ruined by Morgan Stern. Is it? Inspector Leo McCluskey, he ran the major crimes unit for Metro. He tussled with Morgan Stern, didn't he? He never caught him. It's a shame what happened to your father's career. Dishonorably discharged in 96. You know, some say it was, uh, it was Morgan Stern who put the fix on your father that led to his downfall. That was a rumor. Why keep it from us? I didn't keep it from you. It isn't relevant. Everything's relevant, Sergeant. Gives you motive. This is insane. I'm a cop. I am not a criminal. And that's for us to decide. I'm sorry, what, what exactly is there for you to decide? Whether this was an act of self-defense in accordance with the law or an execution. I'll get Dev to check with Metro Dispatch and see what cars were in the vicinity, who the first responder was. Mr. Klein, would you have Corporal Clark report to the conference room, please? Of course. I also would like a private word with you. Hey. Hey. So you had no idea that McCluskey's father had also investigated Morgan's turn? This is the first I've heard of it. And you didn't examine the case history before authorizing his daughter to take over the case? Michelle's an excellent detective. I don't check her homework. I don't have to. She had an angle. She tracked him down. I said, go for it. Well, that is an interesting approach to team leadership and responsibility. You're trying to imply something. Why don't you just come out and say it? That you're not in control of your officers or even aware of their motivations? Excuse me? Michelle picks up one of her father's old cases and now she's crooked? Do you want character references? I'll give you dozens from people you have to respect. You know, you might find that you have fewer friends in high places than you thought just as soon as the facts come out. Sergeant McCluskey put you on the fast track, recommended you for promotions normally reserved for more experienced officers. I have skills that more experienced officers don't. Mm. You're referring to your criminal background in hacking? I was investigated, never charged. Even after she learned of your past, she stood by you, trusted you, even elevated your career. If you're in some way saying that I'm blinded by loyalty, uh, how did Morgan Stern come to your attention? He was a person of interest in a number of fraud cases. Sergeant McCluskey had been tracking him since her days as a regular RCMP. She needed a tech profile to help narrow down his location, activity, targets. But you were unsuccessful. He stayed one step ahead of any counterfeiting technology. He was good. In order to catch a guy like that, you got to get him in the process of making or moving bogus cash. Hmm. How did McCluskey react to this alleged tip? She was fired up. We all were. She thought after years of tracking this guy, she finally had something. She spent years on this case? Did you say she was obsessed? I'd say she was committed. It's a fine line sometimes, isn't it? During investigations, is it common for you to provide remote technical support? Absolutely, whatever the team needs. And in this case, Sergeant McCluskey claims that you were providing schematics on the building where Morgan Stern was found. Yeah, that's correct. Huh. Yet our records show that the building was built in 1902 and that no schematics exist on record. So this anonymous tip, did you hear the call personally? No, I did not hear the call. Um... Michelle took the call in her office. How'd she react? Well, afterwards, she was excited. You know, we've been trying to find this guy for a while. Mm. Did she tell you that her father had pursued this man for several years? No. Do you now see her enthusiasm in a different light? No. Just to confirm, you're a consultant? Yeah. Can you tell me exactly what it is that you do? Yeah, I, I read facial expressions, uh, figure out where people are coming from, whether they're telling the truth or not. Do you have any, uh, any formal training, any certification for that? It's a gift. I was born with it. Hmm. It's pretty accurate, actually. Um, we could do a test right now, if you'd like. <laughs> I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's move on. Um, how would you describe your working relationship with Sergeant McCluskey? Professional, honest, uh, respectful. It's a, it's a true partnership. Maybe close? Yeah, but not the way you mean. Did you see Morgan Stern's weapon? 
Uh, I was coming around the corner when the shot was fired. So that's a no? No. I saw something, a glint. A well, glint is not a gun, Mr. Logan. No, it isn't, but it's something. And I saw the face of a cornered criminal intent on escape. Wait, can I ask you a question? Why are you out to get Michelle? She's a problem. She's a problem. It's time she gets dealt with. We're internal affairs, Mr. Logan. We're not out to get anybody. The evidence speaks for itself. What does the evidence say? Whatever we Whatever wanted to. Wanted to. Uh, the investigation's ongoing, Mr. Logan. Until that changes, we're not at liberty to discuss our findings with you or anyone else for that matter. Is that true, Miss McCoy? No one else knows how this is gonna end? Look, your reaction to your partner's situation is understandable. It's even admirable. Yeah, you put your lives in each other's hands every day. But our objective here, our job, is to get to the bottom of what really happened. If you're trying to intimidate us, Mr. Logan, you won't succeed. Someone already has. We're, we're done here. Thank you. Hey, you. This was a nice surprise. You never call me during the day. What's up? I, um, I shot and killed someone. Now I'm under investigation. You okay? It was Matt Morgan's turn. You didn't tell me you started gambling again. It was only three times, Mish, okay? No high stakes, and he was at one of the games. It was nothing. They think I did it to cover your debt. Well, that is crazy. It was one game, and I came out a couple hundred bucks ahead, all right? It's the truth. I can get you witnesses. They're just, they're trying to get at me through you, through my friends. They even dug up my dad's history. All right, you should not be alone today. I'm gonna shut down the club. No, no, it's okay. Look, it's fine. Go back to work. I just, I wanted you to know what was going on. Mish, I'm not leaving you alone today. End of story. What's the verdict? I'm afraid our initial findings meet the criteria for Sergeant McCluskey's immediate relief of active duty. For how long? What's the next step? It's formal charges for Metro Homicide. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll be in touch. Career based on the actions of her father. Every bit as stubborn as her old man. She won't let it go. We're investigators, Mr. Logan. We don't create the facts. We just do our homework. Really? Well, you got it wrong this time. But we both know that's intentional, don't we? Mr. Logan, let it go. The door. Yeah. You'll get what I promised, but not until I'm sure this thing is buried. Didn't I tell you? A cute couple. Elvin, what the hell is this? Arrest warrants. I had a nice little chat with Constable Partak. He gave us everything. Can't believe you just threw it all away. You almost took me with you. Elvin, you're gonna be one sorry son of a bitch when I'm finished with you. You have nothing. Like I said, Partak gave us everything. It's for you. It's over, Walter. 